Pete here with the smallbusinessresourcecenter.com. I just wanted to share some important news in regards to the SBA, the Paycheck Protection Program, Department of Treasury, and of course, Jovita Carranza. At the Senate hearing, which I will have a I will have the full video right at the link at the end of this. So if you are interested in watching the full video, I recommend it. It's two hours. If you can't watch the whole thing in one clip, just save the video, like it, and then uh, check out the rest later when you have time. But anyways, this quick update, and then uh, we'll like this video too and subscribe. All right. So basically, Jovita Carranza has not been 100% transparent. The Government Accountability Office, or the GOA, is a, the independent oversight committee that has been put in charge of looking at what the SBA is doing as regards to the CARES Act, the Paycheck Protection Program, the EDIL, and the PPP loans. Apparently, when you if you watch the whole two-hour brief, this is going to be very short uh, information here, but if you watch the whole two-hour brief, you can see that there are a lot of things that the senators of the Senate <laughs> Small Business Committee have stated they are not following, they're not doing right, and they're not complying with the law. So some of the naysayers have said, you know, nothing's going to change, but they've already made changes with a lot of the information that was put in the two-hour Senate Committee brief. So I just want to keep that in mind. And so I believe more changes are coming. Um, the I do have a PPP video, and they do discuss extending PPP in a shorter application. But as far as this is concerned, the government, <clears throat> excuse me, the Government Accountability Office states that they were not complying with the requests and failed to provide data on the uh, PPP and the EIDL. So it seems like the smaller borrowers and lots of minorities have had problems getting their applications process, approvals, reconsiderations done, and basically they want all of this stuff corrected quickly. And it was only a week or two weeks, and a lot of people said they were getting uh, better responses. In regards to helping people, I can say myself, if you've tried calling the SBA's hotlines, a lot of times you're getting different information. I have also some of the people, many of them that work there seem like they just blow you off or give you bad information. Like I was just told, the only way to fix a problem is email us. And I'm like, oh, you know, three weeks later, you're you're basically waiting for an email to come back and nothing comes back. And, you know, then it takes six or so and you call someone else and they give you a different answer. But I saw other YouTube channels as well, and I've experienced the same thing where they said they've called 15, 20 times, and most of the answers would be, you know, you got to wait. Some of them tell you to email, and then others, when you finally get someone good on the phone or maybe somebody who cares about their job and the people they're helping, they actually give them the right information and tell them how to fix their problem. Uh, maybe it's also the fact of the SBA not giving proper training because they did hire so many new people. Oh, also with that, I'm going to have a another video coming up with the disaster jobs because the SBA is hiring. So if you're looking for a, a job, smash a like button, subscribe to my channel because they are hiring because they need so many people to process these loans and deal with the phone calls and stuff. So maybe that could be something you could take advantage of. Uh, they are temporary. They may be full-time in the future, but they're temporary. But keep in mind, temporary, this could be three months, this could be four months, who knows? Um, so I would take advantage of that. But keep in mind, the Government Accountability Office was tasked with $2 million CARES Act and the oversight for the administration. And now that they're not getting the information they need from the SBA and they can see that they're not complying with the law, They've given them to, to the end of this month. So we're talking from the day I'm posting this video, about seven days to provide information. And basically, I'm not necessarily saying they're stating they have to fix problems because the articles I read didn't say that, but they are fixing problems and they will provide the information uh, that they're requesting. So this is Pete with the Small Business Resource Center. Smash the like button if this helped you or if you need more videos like this. Subscribe to my channel, share this with a friend, 
And I'd recommend the other two videos, Disaster Jobs if you need it, also the video for the full Senate hearing. A link should be up here somewhere. Just click it <laughs> if you wanna watch it. Keep in mind if you don't have two hours, like I mentioned, save the video and watch the rest later. All right, have a great day. Oh, if you need help with anything, comment below on my YouTube channel and what you need help with. I'll try to get the answers for you because I have been able to get answers or I know the answer to some of the questions people have been asking. All right, have a great day.